Hey guys, Sandy here, and I have my Kill a Kit kit um, ready to go. I also have pulled out this Junkets paper. I've used part of it already, and I'm going to use the second part here for a layout for my daughter's birthday. She had 60 seconds to grab all the tickets she could get, and then, you know, you turn in the tickets for a prize. So I have an idea. It involves some sequins. I'm not sure if it's going to work or if it's going to go horribly, terribly, utterly wrong. But uh, I got this idea, so let's see what I can do. So the first thing I did was just go to my Cricut. I chose a basic Cricut font. I'm not exactly sure which one it was. I did the outline option on it and then cut it out as the mirror image. And then that way I could get tickets to show correctly the way I wanted it to on this striped paper so you could kind of see it. And now my plan here is to go ahead and make a shaker box out of this and have that as my title. So I'm not sure exactly what direction I'm going with this yet. I know that I need to just create the shaker box element and then I can figure out the rest of the page. Now, I didn't have any acetate in a 12 by 12 sheet. I didn't have anything long enough, and I really didn't want to piece together some sort of other thing. So I just went and used some packaging and trimmed it down and just made it so that it went over the entire word of tickets. I mean, who has time to go buy the proper things and you know have acetate and that kind of good stuff when there's all this ridiculous, ridiculous packaging that comes in scrapbooking supplies. I gotta say guys, here, here's, here's a hint. <laughs> Reduce your packaging and you can fit so much more in your space. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Some of the things I leave packaging on, but some of the things I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? There's so much packaging, it's taking up so much space. Why, why, why? like enamel dots. You wouldn't think that there was a lot of packaging on enamel dots, but I removed, I'd say about 75% of the packaging on the way I store them just in a little basket. And I fit so much more in there, it's crazy. Okay, so I just used my ATG to stick that down and now I'm just rubbing it down just to make sure that it has a good adhesion. And I just grab a bone folder it's not a good bone folder. It's not a Teflon one, which, you know, is supposed to be the best one. It's just some sort of cheap jobby that I got once, and for right now, it's working for me. And then I'm going to take these uh, bits of foam that I have, and I'm just going to work it around and just create kind of a shaker box around the word tickets. Now, I do keep some craft foam cut up into little teeny squares right on my desk. I find it's really easy to have that handy when I want to pop up something and don't want to use a foam square or a pop dot or something like that. So voila, I made the whole thing a shaker box here and I'm just using this really old Creative Memories multi-purpose tool to dig out some white sequins and place it onto what's essentially the giant shaker box. And I'm actually rubbing that Creative Memories tool onto an anti-static powder bag because yeah, I am creating static with the, st with, with the stencils. Those aren't stencils, guys. They're sequins Ugh. with the sequins and that plastic tool. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I mean, I'm putting a good amount of sequins in here and I'm completely okay with that because I want you to be able to see the sequins. I want it to be like, yes, those are sequins in there because I know that the, the window is not going to be huge. Now I grabbed this pink paper. It was the closest pink that I could find to match that pink in the 12 by 12 or it's not a 12 by 12 anymore. I've cut it down into that junkets striped paper. And there I am excited that it's shaking and, and making, you know, it's, 
it's doing what I wanted to. So I'm super excited. Now I was, I was tempted to go ahead and leave it like this, but I just didn't like it. I felt like I really needed to add the letters back in. So I just used some Scotch dot adhesive and voila, that is all together. And now I'm looking at this and I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm just having a lot of fun that the sequins are there and I'm super happy about it. So I just go at it. I grab the photos, I'm gonna mat them on the pink paper. And this is the same pink paper that I used to place behind the word tickets. Now I do have this huge shaker box across my page here and everything is popped up on foam. So that means that when I place these photos down and I have like the top part of the photos are hanging off the page, that means I definitely have to add foam there. Otherwise, it's gonna tilt down, it's gonna be super uneven. And you might sometimes want a super uneven or a tilted down look, but for this one I really didn't. I wanted the photos to stay flat and on one level. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place those down. I'm gonna press them down hard, hopefully get some really good adhesion there. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more because there were kind of like divots in my photo and you and I both know I can't handle divots in my photos. Okay, so here I have this. I'm just, oh, just gotta add a little bit more adhesive down just so that the pieces don't pop up. Okay, there we go. I've got this going on. I really like it. I know it's not embellished a whole lot, but I'm thinking it's pretty cool. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just keep going back to my kit that I've pulled and just use some stickers and figure out what I can do to make this layout have a little bit more shazam to it. Now, I really do want the focus to be on this title that I created that says tickets because I had the idea in my head to make it this way and it turned out pretty pretty close to what I had imagined, so I'm excited about that. Now I'm going to go ahead and add gray as a neutral. I mean, I do have this white, big white background and that's a very neutral, but I wanted to add something a little bit more. So I am gonna add gray as the neutral. There's not really any gray anywhere in the page, but it worked for me. Like by the end of this page, by the time I'm finished with it, it works. So I'm going with it. So now one of the things I love to do, if you see in any of my videos or heard me talk, um, is I really love to use labels as embellishment. It just makes me happy. They can be plain labels, they can be labels with words, they can be floral labels, they can be any kind. I just really enjoy a good label. I actually have a storage spot just for labels because I think I need a label so much. So I just like them. And I do use a good amount of labels, I believe, on this page. So I'm just trying to break up this line where the white and the striped paper meet up. And I don't wanna put anything like spanning across the entire page. I don't wanna think about ribbon or think about washi tape or using a border punch or anything like that. I just kinda of wanna break it up a little bit so you're not exactly seeing everything. You're not exactly seeing that line where the white paper and the striped paper meet up. Now here I'm just trying to figure out how to make these tags fit a little bit better and I do have um, a bunch of foam under there so I do have to trim them down a little bit and I'm totally okay with that. I'm totally okay with trimming them down. I just wanna make sure that that red part of the tag isn't going to be seen because there really isn't red on this page and I want to, that bright red, and I want to keep it kinda neutral with the pink. So I decide that I'm gonna add some sequins up at the top of the page here as well. I figure it's as good a place as any. And hopefully it'll bring a little bit more 
like the sequins will have a little bit more noticeability, especially down there in the big uh, tickets thing. So I gotta say, I really like the way this turned out. Next time, I, there will be a next time. Next time I do it, I think what I'm gonna do is make the paper that I die cut white and fill it with colored sequins. I think that that would be pretty too. So that's, that's my plan. Um, I'm going to be doing that here shortly. I just got to figure out what's, what's a good layout to do it on. Now, I just threw some ATG down where the heart is going to poke through. And I decided to keep it the same exact sequence. And I'm just using this crystal katana. Uh, I think it's a jewelry picker, like a crystal picker. And it works pretty well. I mean, I, I got it off of Amazon. It was something that I had been looking at for a while, and I had ordered it. Did I order it off of Amazon, or did I get it as a gift? I can't remember, but I've had it for a while now, and I like it. That's all I have to say. So I went ahead, and that's all stuck down with ATG glue, so it's pretty much stuck down there. Those sequins aren't going to go anywhere. And now I just need to arrange my tags so that you can see the sequence through that heart. And I'm going to pop up the top of the tag just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of something because I know that I'm going to be putting some twine through there. So I grabbed this pink and white Baker's Twine, and this is no fancy brand. No fancy anything, it came from Michael's. And I'm gonna put the pink and white and the gray tag, and then I have just a small amount of this Lawn Fawn gray and white twine that I found in a scrapbooking store somewhere. And I love it. Like this twine, it's it's kind of got, it's got some meat to it. It's not f flimsy. And it kind of stays where you want it to. So I put the, the gray and white into the pink tag. And then I'm thinking, you know what? It needs a little bit of something up here. This layout is super bottom heavy and I just need to figure out a little something up at the top as well. And then I figure, you know what? I've also got this big expanse of empty space here and I need to do something fun there. And I'm just trying to figure out like what what colors to pull in to from the bottom to the top. Just trying to figure out what, you know, what's going to what's going to go right. I decide to leave that top portion alone for a minute and I nestle the heart between the T and the S. I love it when I can nestle the point of a heart between something. Not exactly sure what it is about doing that, but it really makes me happy. So, I found this label and it is a denim kind of label and it doesn't exactly match like the texture and the feel of the junkets paper down below but it's pretty close and i'm going to cover up a good portion of it so i think unless you're really looking at it going dang sandy that does not match you're you're not even going to really pay attention to it like it's it's not even going to be a thing so i'm not worried about it so there i am going ahead and layering up some labels like this is a plain label and this is a solid label with some text on it I just really enjoy the labels so trimming off the edges back here and I'm like yep I'm liking this it's working for me uh, except that's a little bit too long so we're gonna trim those suckers down and then I realized I forgot to take the adhesive off of those foam squares so I just went ahead and did that And now I'm thinking I need a little a little bit more of this darker reddish color because there is this darker reddish color in the striped paper. I do have this darker pink down here uh, underneath the S as a banner. And I'm just thinking I need to bring in just, just an ever so slight amount of this darker color throughout the page so it looks cohesive and it doesn't look like I just was like, oops, I just dropped this down here accidentally. So I went ahead and did that. And I'm just using my grid mat to line up that label that I tore apart. And of course you gotta just find the exact perfect position. Position, oof, can't even speak this morning. It's not even early in the morning guys and 
I don't know what it is, but I came in my scrapbook room to sit down to do this voiceover here because this video has been sitting on my iPad for a little bit. And I just sat down and I just got really stupid tired for a moment. Waiting for the AC guy to get here. We had some issues with our air conditioning and they had to add Freon and there's a leak somewhere. So they're, they're coming back to find that out. So these are some close to my heart white enamel dots and I really like them. They have a great feel to them. They stick down beautifully and I'm just sprinkling them about the page and getting happy with it. I'm gonna add just a few lines of journaling here. Not a whole lot, just enough to know what is going on on the page. Like you'll be able to figure out within, within the context of the album when I have all of her birthday layouts together, but right now you have no idea. So I'm just doing that. And I do believe this is gonna wrap it up, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making this layout. Um, go ahead and subscribe so you can see the rest of the things I do with Kill a Kit with Style. And then make sure you're checking out everybody else who is participating this month. Have a great day, guys.